So all of these outlets, there was wow. a cover up while people were drinking the water from the previous governor, Rick Snyder, and his Republican accomplices. They they looked the other way as people yeah. were drinking lead and bacteria, then tried to cover it up. And then the media, after the fact, have been in on the cover up. If you don't know, I've shared this. We were supposed to break that story, Tina, Jen and I, that Snyder's environmental department manipulated the lead data, literally yeah. cooked, he cooked, made it, up, yeah. cooked the data, and then declared the water safe and shut down the water pods. We were supposed to break that for Newsweek. I had to hold in my, my tongue, my vomit to even deal with Newsweek because it's such a corporate rag. But I decided, hey, I want to get this out to the masses and a, a corporate outlet would help me do it. They killed the story a day before it was supposed to be published, citing we didn't have enough data. How many doors did Jen and I knock on in Flint in the summer, hot summer? Nearly 500 doors. We found dozens of examples of environmental officials from Rick Snyder's government in Michigan going into residents' wow. homes, running their water that day right before taking a sample, complete lead, a lead and copper mm -hmm. sample, completely against EPA regulations right. and, and laws. Right. We also found evidence that they were instructing, if they weren't them going into residents' homes and, and running their water and then collecting lead and copper samples, they were telling residents to do it. So you're either doing it yourself or wrongly instructing residents to basically flush away their lead and then take right. away, take the samples. So putting all that aside, I, you know, I'm not a, I told you so person, but I've been on the ground 18 times. I don't need an award. I'm just telling you, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Status right. quo has lost money, by the way. We have lost a lot of money going to Flint because it costs a lot of money to do real reporting. It's not sexy like all these channels doing like this person bashes this person, all caps and doing 50 <laughs> yeah. videos on AOC a week. It's not as sexy as that. It's not as clicky. It's just more important. Let's put it yeah. that way. I agree. I said from day one, it is there is no way to accurately report that the water in Flint is safe. There is no way to accurately, accurately report that the lead levels are meeting, quote, EPA regulations. The only studies that have been done were the ones we broke that were manipulated or other ones that literally tested like 30 homes in Flint, a city of 80,000 people. Mm -hmm. They didn't even confirm whether those homes were connected to lead pipes in the first place and declared, oh, well, these 30 homes on average have acceptable lead levels, so the whole right. city's fine. And I said, the water's not safe. And this is not like a, a crisis from yesteryear. We don't know if children are still drinking poison. That was the point. Right. And I just want to show you before we get to the news, Colin, our last trip to Flint, I don't know when it was, maybe August, July, August, it was the summer. You want to know how safe the water is? Colin, show the part where we just went, we interviewed, I don't know, seven to 10 residents. See how safe the water is. And, you know, in the bathroom, and they were, they had to unplug it, and it was just disgusting. And you, on your arm, you were showing. Yeah, my arms break out all the time. From the water. My skin's going to just peel. I mean, it takes everything I've got to keep my skin on my bones from taking a shower and that shit. And you're not talking about, like, residual scars from six years ago. You're talking about stuff you're getting now. This is in the last 24 hours. My hair is falling out all over again, just like in 14. That was just one, by the way. I spoke with a lot of people, hair loss, rashes. I have people that are telling me when they shower, their eyes burn. Wow. So this is, this is the water that Politico calls safe, right? This is the water. I mean, Mother Jones has put it out there. By the way, Let's also talk about Tina. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just yelling. No, I know. You uh, have a right to yell. It's ridiculous that they would just take that as fact and report it as fact without doing any investigation into it. It's it's absolutely wrong. I agree. It's inferior. Let's also talk. Let's also talk about Reuters, who yeah. did a story, and I reached out to the author, just didn't respond, who did a story years ago. 3,000 other cities have higher lead levels than Flint. I'm not... I'm not minimizing that there's a lot of other cities yeah. with really bad water that if I had a broom, I'd go to all of them. I, I don't. I, I cover as much as I can. I, I, I reached out to the guy, said, hey, benefit of the doubt, maybe you didn't see our report that Congress people have responded to. We found that the numbers you're citing on Flint that you're comparing other cities to are fake. Yeah. We don't know what the real lead levels on. doesn't respond. Then you see even people that 
I respect in the media using this talking point, not because they're lazy, but because this is what the media has reported. That, yeah. oh, Flint's, Flint's improving. The numbers are fine. Have any of these people step foot in Flint? Because I can tell you, literally, you go to Flint. If it was your first time as a reporter, you make contact with one, uh, one resident. It's like a fraternity or sorority recruit me. They'll put you in contact with others and others. Right, Before you know right. it, you're in a bunch of homes smelling foul water. In mm -hmm. some cases, seeing discolored water, talking to residents like I just did. That was one person. I spoke with a lot of them. Still getting rashes, still losing hair, eyes burning, people getting cancers and all other things. And you're going to report the water's fine? So in a nutshell, Tina, I said, the water is not fine. Okay. I, I've smelled it. Anecdotally, I tasted it within the last year. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> I didn't have a whole glass. It was awful. It's like. You didn't pull an Obama? No, it was real. Um, so the water is not fine. Yet we have been gaslit in a literally environmental yeah. genocidal manner that the water is fine. Yeah. So, Colin, if you could show, pull up uh, the story now. Uh, here's the story that came out uh, when, yesterday. Fueled by recent cases in Flint. Legionnaire's disease numbers rise in Genesee County. Fueled by recent cases in Flint, Legionnaire's cases rise in Genesee County. Before I read the article, a lot of people don't know that, because the media only focused on lead, Tina, that right. Flint was not just a lead crisis. There was a deadly waterborne right. bacteria known as Legionnaire's, which kind of can um, mimic pneumonia, but is much more deadly than pneumonia and is often misdiagnosed as pneumonia, that it bred in those pipes. Legionnaire's bacteria was dislodged right. from those pipes yeah, because, the the, because the right chemicals were not put into the pipes in the first right. place. It spread right. like wildfire. You had a massive increase in Legionnaire's. It killed people. The true number of people that died from Legionnaire's, they said 12. That's nonsense. PBS reported it could be as many as 115. Frankly, I, it could be a lot more than that because there was never an actual right. health registry. There was no health registry in Flint. So there is no and way to know. that's by design. That's by design. Yes, it was by design. So I said, well, how could the water be safe if, A, not all the pipes have been changed? Eight years later, not all the pipes have been changed. Number two, the only pipes that have been changed are the service lines. So what service right. lines means is the pipes that distribute water from the curb outside your house right. or apartment into the house or apartment. Right. Then there, before that, there are pipes underneath the ground, mm -hmm. underneath the streets called mains, the main pipes. They're just shorthand mains. Those weren't changed. Did, did the toxic river water skip over the main pipes? No. They're, they have been bursting all over Flint for years. Mains routinely burst because they were busted. The other pipes that the, the previous, the last mayor of Flint fought to get changed was people's interior home plumbing because people's interior inside their homes, those pipes were busted too. Democratic governor Gretchen Whitmer told her, can't do it. The legislature has what they call Flint fatigue. This is a Democratic governor who wouldn't fight for it. Just told the former mayor, this is on the record, the mayor told me this, uh, that the Democratic governor who made all these promises to solve Flint, fix it, uh, yeah, we can't get you any money to fix your busted pipes. So bottom line, Jesus could bless the brand new service lines coming yeah. from the curb into your home. But if the main pipes before, fixed, before yeah, that it doesn't matter. Are, are corroded and busted, yeah. and after those new pipes, your interior plumbing is corroded and busted, guess what? You're still going to have lead, other heavy metals, and legionnaires being yeah. dislodged into your water. The other part, and I don't want to bore people with too much in the weeds, Flint, like many other cities in America, Flint was once, the water system was created for 250,000 residents. 250,000 residents many years ago. They now have 80,000 residents. You literally have water stuck in the system for days at a time. Yeah. You have whole sections of Flint that are abandoned homes where water is not moving at all. Guess right. what happens in that case? The bacteria increases. Because the chlorine that yeah. is added to the water uh, to prevent bacteria, because 
water cities add chlorine to prevent bacteria, the chlorine is totally used. Yeah. Uh, because the water is not moving. Right. So it breeds bacteria. So yeah. I'll just read a little bit wow. of this, Colin. This is horrifying. The number of Legionnaires disease cases in the, in the county, Genesee County, which Flint is in, this year is already higher than was recorded all of last year and has matched the number of cases reported in 2019. Wow. The county health department announced the case count in a news release Friday, October 15th, and said the area is still in the midst of a season in which cases typically arise. Yeah, it's just the season in which these cases are popping up in Flint. Officials said the county's 28 Legionnaires yes. cases so far this year have been fueled by a recent increase in the number of cases reported in the city of Flint. Of course, it's it's only the season. Hey, guess what, Tina? Yeah. You know, yeah. you know where back Legionnaires thrives? It thrives in the hot months, which we're just getting out of in Flint and Michigan. And it fly it it thrives in water systems that I just described that have busted fucking pipes, yeah. corroded pipes, where chlorine is being uh pre prematurely prematurely uh consumed dissipated. yes dissipated it's, yeah. it's dissipating uh and it rises in systems that are made for two hundred fifty thousand people where only eighty thousand people live in yeah the water is not circulating i mean you would need more right. residents turning their taps on using it for it to be circulating for the enough chlorine chlorine being present to kill the bacteria i totally right. get what you're saying it's very but, very but, bad but this would not be this would not be important to inform americans about fuck the world this would not be important you know when you're just receiving you know talking points it's like just reporting that saddam hussein has weapons of mass destruction because dick right. cheney yeah. told you so and by the way you know mm. fuck colin powell you're a war criminal i agree good, good written sorry for your family sorry the, the the rehabilitation of colin powell today is disgusting anyway um the bottom line is the reason taking glasses off. The reason that the people of Flint, the children of Flint are still drinking poison nearly eight years later, and let's call it what it is, the majority black residents of Flint, whole lot of poor white people too, but still majority black, are still drinking poison, still bathing and showering in poison is because of corrupt politicians, but yeah. it's also because of the corrupt corporate media that has basically propped up lies. Yeah, they have propped out lies. I'm not telling you they're lies, Tina, out of my opinion. They're lies because they're I've lies. been there yeah. 18 times. You, the viewers of Status Quo, have sent Jen and I. I think Jen's, I don't know, up to 10. I've been there 18, whatever. I've been there. I'm not inventing this. out of. I've seen it. I've shown it on videos. We, we did the reporting. We didn't, uh, instead of, you know, doing 50 videos a week on how terrible Bernie and AOC are, we knocked on 500 doors right. a couple summers ago. That's yeah. actually called reporting that Politico just doesn't want to do or doesn't have the time to do or, or it's not in their financial best interest. I mean, it's not in their it's not in their best interest, Tina. It's not in their financial no. bottom line to go no. talk to the residents of Flint, see their rashes, 